All right, hello students, and I am going to welcome all of you to what I hope will be the first of a video series dedicated to teaching kids the fundamentals and the rudiments of music. So whether you attend my school and you're one of my students, or whether you are anywhere on the planet, you too can learn the rudiments of music right here with me. So I've got my trusty pen. I'm in front of a super high-end 4K smart board device. And basically with this, I will be able to basically draw just about anything. And we're going to have a great time while we learn. So let's get started. What we're looking at here is the musical staff. And if you are a non-musician or if you are just getting started in music, the musical staff is basically a system of lines and spaces that we use to put notes on, which help us, the musician, to read music. So it's a system of lines and spaces where we put notes on them. And we figure out from there what we're playing. If you play a violin or cello or trumpet or trombone or you sing or you play piano, we all use the staff in one way or another, we use the staff. So today's video is the bare bones of what you need to know about the staff, okay? And as the video series continues, then it'll evolve in complexity and depth. So let's get to it right away. The, the music staff has five lines, okay? And between those lines, you have four spaces. So if you're copying this at home, I'd like for you to take a piece of paper and you basically, with a ruler, draw five lines, right? Now, I've got some lines already drawn on my board. And I have a video of this already done, but I used a paper and a pencil. Now I'm using some high-tech software. So draw five lines, just like mine, okay, using a ruler. Space it out about maybe an inch or two, okay? And then let's label the lines and the spaces with numbers. So go over and write one, two, three, four, and five, right? Now I bet you that because I'm using, because I am using a, this pen, I could probably use white, right? I could probably use white. And then I could go over here, and right here, I could, oh, perfect. One, two, three, four, and five. So that way it's easier to see, right? That I'm actually labeling the lines in order from the bottom to the top, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then in between those lines, you have the spaces, right? So let's label them too. And we have four of them. We have one two, three, and four. Now, the other thing I could do to make this easier to understand is I could actually draw the spaces right in there. One, two, three, and four. So I hope that makes sense so far. We have a, the musical staff. It has five lines. It has four spaces, okay? So the question is, where do we go from here? If you're learning how to read music, you have to know this. Anytime a note lands on a line or space, you as the young musician have to know what line or space it's on, right? So for that purpose, if I put a note right here and I said, what, what line or space is that on? You would basically count one, two, three, four, five. And you say, that's the fifth line. It's a note on the fifth line, okay? And that's a note on the fourth line. That's a note on the third line. That's a note on the second line. And that is right there, a note on the first line. Now, I, I do get, I do have a piquant for quality, so let's make those notes really nice and round, shall we? Right, so now we have a note on the second line. We have a note on the first line. And now, if you are a, a young musician and you know, okay, that's a first line note, second line note, third line note, fourth line note, and fifth line note. Now, you may be wondering, hold on a second, why aren't you calling it like G or B or D? And the reason I'm, I'm avoiding that right now is because it depends, it depends on what instrument you play. If you play cello, 
or bass or tuba or trombone, these line notes or space notes are going to be different than if you play violin or flute. Does that make sense? So right now we're looking at the very basics and then eventually we will venture in. So let, now we covered the lines, let's cover the spaces. Ready? So here we go. Starting, let's just start right here. So that's a note on the fourth space. That's a note on the third space. That's a note on the second space. And that's a note on the first space. Okay? So, so far, it's very self-explanatory. Now that you understand it, you can look at any piece of music in the world and you can say, hey, that's a first line note or that note is on the second line. You know that. Um, anything above or below, there's a really simple system of figuring out what it is. So, for example, I can say that that note is above the fifth line, right? And I can say that this note, right, is below the first line in the music staff. Now, the music staff does extend beyond the five lines, which means that there are more notes beyond the ones that you see here, right? So to figure out how much higher and how much lower we go, we use these smaller lines called ledger lines, and they're like invisible pretend long lines, but they're little, okay, to help us figure out where the note is. So let me draw one for you. So if I draw a little line here, that's my ledger line, and I draw a note, now I say, okay, where is this note? And you would say, well, it's on the first ledger line, above the staff. That makes sense? And then I could do the same thing down here. I can draw myself a ledger line and I can draw a note right here and say, okay, where is this note? And you would say, oh, it's on the first ledger line below the staff. Okay? And you can have, you can have a note that is above the ledger line above the staff. Okay, just process that for a second. The note is above the ledger line, above the staff, or right down here, it's below the ledger line or below the first ledger line, below the staff. So I'm already getting into maybe more complicated territory, um, but the basic concept is that you have those five lines, you have the four spaces. It goes beyond it, right, with the ledger lines, which are spelled this way. Let me see if I can write beautifully. Ledger. Oh, that's quite nice. Lines. Not too bad. Ledger lines, okay? And so you can use the ledger lines to basically go beyond the stuff. But that's already almost beyond the scope of this video. Uh, the basics are five lines four spaces, and you know how to identify them. That is a really good place to be. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. This, let me know your comments. If I, if I missed something, if I did something blatantly wrong, and you need to, to tell me, or if you liked it and you thought that was helpful for, for you to help you understand the lines and the spaces and how the staff works and kind of what it is, then you let me know as well, okay? So thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, I just, every YouTuber says it, so I guess I'll say it too. Feel free to subscribe, and I guess there is a bell button, but anyways, I, I'm not that serious of a YouTuber, uh, but I, I'm, I'm slowly getting there. So thank you for watching. Leave me your comments. Keep being awesome. I'll see you later. And then this is my low-tech video without an intro. Bye. Ah, there it is. All right, now for real. Bye.